So here we've got a, a mutant sheep called Sharon, and we're interested in how her wool differs from normal wool types, basically. And because wool's 90% protein or more, and proteins decide how that wool is structured. It all started because we heard about a sheep down in Otago that I thought was a half sheep, half goat, but we realised it was just a mutant wool sheep. So we advertised around the various farms in Canterbury for unusual breeds of sheep, and a, a different luster, different crimp. And we've been breeding those sheep as well to see whether that's a, a major dominant characteristic or not. As you can see on the left, we have a straight wool of Sharon, of the mutant wool, and on the right we have a normal merino wool. As you can see, it looks more like hair than it looks like wool. So if we can actually use this wool to model hair structure, then we actually can get some understanding of how hair structure changes, how curvature is affected and so on. Some sheep were born have mutant wool, some don't. We have had some lambs born that start out with straight lustrous wool that transforms into normal wool, and we don't understand why at this stage. But we're interested to carry on with the research to find out. The potential benefits are we could develop new breeds of sheep with new wool qualities actually, with different colour, with different crimp, with different levels of lustre. We decided to bring Sharon back to one of the local farms here and she was very, very shy and cautious for a long time but she's developed quite a strong personality and very friendly now. So It's been a lot of fun and enjoy working with Sharon as well. So.